consider it, Lady Cassandra. The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've had enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because you're a mage, first and foremost. If they name you a candidate, they may as well join the Tevinta Imperium. Truly, though, I imagine it's because they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Leliana or I would be any better. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely, it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars... This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you of all people say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. If you're concerned, then make it better. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath. But deep down he believes, his heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. So this is your new crusade? I've agreed to nothing yet. And if the Chantry calls on you? Then I will do whatever I can, for as long as I can. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one on one. But he will come. You will get your chance. You don't seem concerned about that. I am terrified. Yet I have faith in you. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, successful against all odds, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. Oh, I have plans of my own. As you should. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter.
I will stand with you in the end, Inquisitor, if you will have me. My dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new Divine. I thought that might be coming after the Grand Ball. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. Leliana might be a better choice than Cassandra, don't you think? Leliana is a well-meaning fool. She will do irreparable harm to countless people in the name of freedom. She proposes to abolish the Circles with nothing but a solemn promise from mages not to murder children. When an angry mage lashes out inside a tower, villages aren't destroyed. The Circle protects us all. Mages will die and take ordinary men with them in a war that cannot be won. Consider carefully, Inquisitor. Everything we do is a sign from the Maker to those who seek one. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? When Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. A message from Divine Justinia. That's a shock. You're right reading it. Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. You take your instructions from me? What sort of help can a dead Divine give you? I don't know. Perhaps something to do with the Chantry. Or it could be personal. She guided me for many years, Inquisitor, as a divine and as a friend. There are days when I still look to her for advice, only to remember that I am alone. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. I'll help in whatever way I can. Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. 
If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. It's just as I remember it. You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the Blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. I didn't expect it to be so... deserted. It makes me uneasy. It's a small village, and it's too early for the chant. I'm sure the sisters are somewhere. Liliana? Is that you? Sister Natalie? What are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... ...like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... you brought the Inquisitor here? My lady, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. You owe me 20 readings of the Canticle of Trials for that insult. She doesn't mean it. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch. That light has no fear of darkness. That strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. verses from the benedictions every Friday? That canticle was Justinia's favorite. Yes, of course. We'd never give up the traditions of our most beloved divine. That is lovely to hear. I stare up at the bridge sometimes. It's terrifying, but beautiful in its way. Beautiful. By sunrise? When the sun rises through it, it splits into what looks like a thousand suns, like a broken mirror. Yes, spectacular, isn't it? What was that? Looks like we opened something. Sorry to keep you waiting. Good old Leliano was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dells, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who is this Grand Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this Grand Cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thedas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. 
top us? He must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us, join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. This has to be done. You know it. I see what you've become. The righteous stand before the darkness, and the Maker shall guide them. <laughs> Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but... My conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the Fade. She said she failed you. This is what she meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Sacrifices are necessary. You know that. I know. And hearing you agree gives me the courage to do what must be done. Justinia tried to save me. But all it's done is made me realize I don't need saving. There is work to be done. I'll see you back at Skyhold. Grand Cleric Victoire wishes to make an enemy of the Inquisition. I'll give her what she wants. Doesn't Victoire have a young cousin, Lord Firmin? She dotes on him. Yes, mistress. I believe that is so. Good. Have him collected. He shall be an honored guest, and make sure the Grand Cleric hears about it. At your command. Is everything under control? Perfect. The Grand Cleric and others like her will fall in line soon enough. You see, when I'm ruthless, it gets us where we need to be. It's something to be proud of. Why fix it? How funny that her regret is what finally puts my own to rest. I chose to become her left hand, knowing what it meant. It was my weakness that stopped me from fully committing to my task. You have a good heart. It's not a weakness. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Call it what it is. The Inquisition needs me just as the Divine did, to do what no one else dares. Death and deception are my trade. It is what I am. It is what I always will be. I was pondering who might be Divine, and it suddenly occurred to me. Is it so ridiculous for the Grand Clerics to support me? Why shouldn't they? I think you would make a good divine. I am glad to hear it. Your support may persuade the Grand Clerics to vote in my favor. Justinia wanted the Chantry to grow, but her reforms never took root. 
She was held back by tradition and was too gentle to force change. I will make that mistake. I don't see why you'd bother. Because I owe it to Justinia. She started the work, and I will finish it. Justinia thought the circles needed to change. But why stop there? The Chantry alienated potential allies by brutalizing elves and belittling dwarves. If we could bring them into the fold, wouldn't we have peace? There are those who would cling to the old ways, of course. But they will see. I would make them see. But I've rambled on too long. I am not divine.